G'day and welcome back to the Ziggy D Weekly. I wasn't going to do one of these this week because I've been working on tons of content for Nether and preparing for Path of Exile launch, but uh, I got a pretty fun question. People, someone asking me about uh, Halloween. So I thought I'd make a little bit of a Halloween special. And I'd also like for you guys to say hello to special guest, Charlie Dog. She doesn't really have a face. It doesn't really show on camera because the hair and everything's so dark. But pretty, pretty cute. Pretty cute. And she's the uh, she's a guest dog at our house at the moment. But uh, her and Tychus have a lot of fun playing together. I'll let you go now, Charlie Dog. <laughs> so, as I said, I've been working on some Nether content. A couple weeks ago, I released a teaser video about the upcoming survival multiplayer first-person shooter, but not zombies, uh, game Nether. And uh, it looked pr it looked pretty interesting. I'm always keen to try and find a good survival game. And Yesterday, we finally got a chance to actually try it out after it being pushed back a f quite a few times. So I've played for quite a few hours now, P played for maybe like four hours or something like that. And uh, I made two videos. I've made a first look at Nether video, which explains the overall gameplay mechanics and what you can expect from it, and give some of my first impressions. And I also did a 20 minute running commentary of just some solo scavenging and looting and fighting nethers and stuff like that. The game is pretty fun and it has a lot of potential. It's not entirely finished yet, still kind of in closed beta and everything. But uh, with launch coming up soon, like pre order sort of closed beta for people, I thought. You guys might enjoy the content, so that just has to be sent off for review. They just want to check that there's no major bugs or anything like that. They're a bit, little bit paranoid about showing some bugs, but we'll send that. I'll send those videos off for review, and then hopefully I'll be able to upload those soon. You guys can check it out. And uh, if you've been craving a good survival game, then maybe this will be one to keep an eye out for. So keep an eye out for that content. Other, and other than that, I'm pretty much just fully gearing up for the Path of Exile launch. I've been doing some, you know, Hearthstone, Carticus. I've been doing some Baldur's Gate and all that stuff. But mostly I'm trying to get prepared for this Path of Exile launch jazz. So I did release a video talking about my plans for the upcoming Path of Exile launch. And uh, I'll link that down in the description below. You guys can check, out, check that out. It goes over what I'm going to do in detail. But uh, it looks pretty... It's going to be pretty insane. I'm going to be no-lifing it pretty hard. I'm planning on playing hard ground. I'm planning on making tons of different content, walkthroughs and guides and... Oh, man, it's pretty pretty crazy. I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, I'm keen. I'm keen to get into it. It's going to be a pretty exciting time. Lots of new people coming to the game and lots and lots and lots of content coming from me. So let's jump straight into the Q&A question for this week. And uh, apparently, apparently it's Halloween or it's getting close to Halloween or something like that. People are starting to talk about Halloween. Now, I say apparently because in Australia, we don't actually really celebrate Halloween. I've never celebrate, celebrated Halloween myself, and um, you don't see very many people celebrate Halloween. The shops still try to sell us some Halloween stuff, but uh, yeah, not really, not really a huge deal over here in Australia. But we are still very familiar with Halloween because here in Australia, we like to consume tons of American media. That's right. So I thought since these questions were pretty fun though, I would go ahead and answer the Halloween themed questions for the Ziggy D Weekly this week. And these questions come in from viewer Dorian. So thanks for the question, Dorian. If you guys want to send in your questions, send them to qna at the ziggyd.tv. But let's jump into it. He says, although I'm uncertain how popular Halloween is in Australia, it's hugely popular here in the States and I'll thoroughly enjoy your Halloween special. So yeah, we don't really celebrate it here, but uh, I'm still pretty familiar with the whole Halloween thing and I've seen my fair share of Halloween Simpsons specials and all that jazz. <laughs> so his first question is, what is your favourite scary video game? Now, I have to give a special shout out first to the classics, the original two Resident Evils. What is it? It's a monster. What is it? <laughs> Classic. I love some Resident Evil 1 action. Played a ton out of Resident Evil 1 and 2. Uh, pretty awesome games. But the horror movie that always, the horror game that always comes to my mind when I think about scary games from my childhood was Clock Tower on the PlayStation 1. Probably a title not many of you have heard of. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty retro. It's pretty niche. But, uh, an insanely fun game. I don't know how scary it would be today, but I remember being terrified. Our whole family sat in the room as Dad played it, pretty much, and I remember my sister would hide behind my back while we watched it. Not not able to leave the room, even though she was terrified, but hiding behind my back and not looking at it, but couldn't leave the room, because I guess wanted to be there for the fun. But uh, that game was pretty funny. It was about a a, uh, a guy named Dan, I believe, who uh, had giant like scissor shear things and would chase you around. It was kind of a similar game to Resident Evil, but uh, pretty hilarious. And you were trapped in this clock tower or something like that. I really don't remember that much about it, but I just remember it being hilarious and scary. So I'll put a picture of that up on screen or something because pretty pretty funny stuff. 
So, his next question is, what is your favourite scary movie? Now, I don't actually have any standout favourite scary movies. I've watched quite a few horrors and things like that, but none of them really uh, jump out to me as fantastic. But in general, I really enjoy sci-fi horror or thriller movies. So, for example, Moon isn't a really traditional horror movie, uh, I don't think, but it's a movie that is scary and tense and has that, you know, uh, that, that make you think sort of scariness. It, it's a bit of a thriller, and I really enjoyed Moon. So movies like that, sci-fi scary movies, are my favourites in general, but no real standout ones, just a few that I've enjoyed over the years. Next question is, what are you most afraid of? Aliens that burrow into your ears, or things that could be real. So yeah, I hate like stuff that gets under your skin, and uh, aliens that, you know, crawl into your ears when you sleep and, you know, spiders that crawl into your mouth, just stuff like that, you know, stuff that gets under your skin. I find that pretty creepy, but uh, otherwise I'm not too scared of any particular horror movie tropes, but uh, yeah, those burrowing aliens, pretty, ugh, they, they, give me, they give me shivers, they're pretty nasty. But uh, otherwise, things that are real, you know, real stuff like flesh-eating diseases, you know, they're actually real, <laughs> uh, real evil people in real life, I think nothing can really compare with the the scary things that actually really truly exist in this world. So I tend to avoid uh, movies that deal with real stuff that is actually real because I don't really want to don't really want to think about that sort of stuff too much because a lot of that stuff that actually does exist is pretty horrible and worse than any sort of aliens or zombies or anything like that. So Next question is, have you ever had any run-ins with the supernatural? Yes, I kind of have. I actually put a video up on my RLZD channel, and I'll link to that in the description below. But uh, basically, I had kind of had this uh, run-in with computer ghosts. I'm sure some of you have heard of or seen computer ghosts before. It's when weird things happen on your computer that don't really make any sense, you know. Sometimes you can just say, oh, I had a virus and some weird shit happened, but uh, not always. Sometimes just weird stuff happens with computers. And uh, my, my story was basically, the short of it was that I had some drivers, eventually I figured out that I had some drivers and stuff that were playing up, and some weird stuff happened. First, my mouse started doing stuff without me doing it, and, you know, going and clicking things and stuff like that. So that was just kind of the minor, like, oh, this is a bit weird. But my keyboard uh, drivers from Razer were like, it was doing doing something where it was like uh, with macros, some some of the macros things was playing up or something. And I like typed in something into my search bar, so up on the top right on the Mac I was on at the current time. I typed in something, and then later when I clicked on it again, it retyped it back to me, and that was creepy as <laughs> that was super creepy. Having you know my computer like oh, what the hell it's talking to me. So that was that was kind of scary. That was my supernatural, but you know not real supernatural, just computer supernatural. So the follow-up question to that is, what are your thoughts on on the uh, existence of ghosts? Now, I've never really been a very spiritual, believing in supernatural or anything like that myself, but I'm kind of changing my worldview a bit these days. I've been reading a lot of stuff about, uh, you know, as we move forwards into the future and things like uh, transcendence happen where we move into computer environments where we, you know, upload our brains and exist in these computer environments, I, th I get thinking. If that was the case, where we all uploaded ourselves into a computer environment, you know, dismantled the universe and turned it into processing power just to support uh, us living in a computer artificial environment, things like ghosts and supernatural creatures could easily exist. There's no reason why they wouldn't exist. So who's to say we're not currently already living in a computer world, a computerized world? You know, who's who's not to say that we're just not artificial creations or intelligence uploaded by a previous, uh, a previous, I guess, race of creatures? Uh, who's not to say that we didn't already upload ourselves millions and millions of years ago and we're just being sort of replaying again in Matrix? So if that was the case, theoretically or logically speaking, the supernatural stuff could could easily exist in that sort of situation. Also, there's some kind of weird stuff where we haven't really discovered how far the universe goes downwards. Like I'm talking like, you know, we move down to the cellular level, we move down into the atomic level, we move down into like, you know, string theory sort of stuff. You know, what kind of happens is we keep delving down in there. What's there? So, I don't know. My, my worldview is expanding a little bit and I'm not, uh, you know, palming off the existence of things that we don't understand, I guess is the best way to put it. And then finally, Oh wait, actually, what are some of your favourite or most embarrassing Halloween costumes from the past? Yeah, I've never really ever dressed up in Halloween costumes. As I said, no one really dresses up here. I think I, um, I think I did some, like, Final Fantasy dress up in... <laughs> I dressed up as, like, Cloud or something in, uh, primary school, but I don't have any photos of that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, uh, I bet it was terrible. I bet it was terrible. And, uh, yeah. 
I don't I haven't do, done too many dress ups yet. Maybe I'll do some of those in the future. Some cos cosplaying action for Halloween parties or something like that. And then finally, do you prefer tricks or treats? Homemade treats like cookies or brownies, or soft, chewy Anzac biscuits. Mm. I don't know. Do you guys feel sh like ripped off if you're like doing trick or treat and you get homemade uh, treats in the US? I feel like some people would feel like they're ripped off, but I love that, man. Uh, some quality homemade cookies or biscuits or something like that. That's what I would go for is in the US and doing trick or treating. But yeah, it doesn't really happen here, so I just have to pester Amy to make me, make me some treats. <laughs> she makes me some uh, badass, chewy, mm, soft Anzac biscuits. Hot, chewy Anzac biscuits. For those of you guys not in Australia or New Zealand, I guess, you probably guys, you probably don't know what Anzac biscuits are, but they're pretty good. Look them up, look up a recipe and make them for yourselves. So that's my Halloween special Q&A. Pretty fun, pretty fun. I had fun answering it. And uh, yep, yeah, just some nether content coming up and Path of Exile content coming your guys' way otherwise. But uh, keep in touch, keep leaving those comments. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.